It's cold here in Detroit, and Bob Frizz, owner of Shaboom Customs, is here to heat things up and kick off the 2018 Detroit Autorama. Welcome to the 2018 Detroit Autorama. This special presentation is brought to you by Eaton Detroit Spring, made in the USA in Detroit. Welcome to the 66th Annual Detroit Autorama. Already the anticipation is building to see which car will win the very prestigious Riddler Award. Each year, hundreds of cars are entered to participate in the Detroit Autorama also known as America's Greatest Hot Rod Show, and only eight of those vehicles will be finalists to compete for the Riddler. Let's take a closer look at the incredible Great 8 winners and see just how competitive this hobby can get. I do love cars. When I was 10 years old, I walked out into the garage when my father was ripping apart a motor in a Corvette and he asked me to hand him a wrench and ever since then I was just into cars and I always wanted to help out. I'm Danielle Lutz from Moscow, Pennsylvania. I'm here with my 1934 Ford pickup at the 2018 Detroit Autorama. I chose this truck specifically, this 1934 Ford pickup, because it was my future father-in-law's vehicle and I thought this is going to be my truck someday. And a couple of years later, he inherited that from his father and he gave it to me. So I decided to send it down to Jason Graham in Tennessee and told him to just do whatever he wanted, just make it blue. There was four things that I specifically wanted with this truck. I told him that it had to be blue because that's my favorite color. It had to have a tan interior, pockets on the door so I could put my cell phone in, and a hood. I had absolutely no influence on what type of motor or transmission I really wanted. I told him I'd prefer a 5-speed because a real hot rod has three pedals. The drivetrain is a 347 small block Ford, English sacked injection, a Tremec 5-speed transmission, and a winner's quick change rear. Jason had always been sending me black and white pictures of this truck because it was just a little inside secret that I wouldn't know what color it was until I showed up here and I was under the impression it was going to be kind of a dark color but I had said that I wanted blue and when I showed up today I saw it for the very first time and I absolutely love the color combinations and everything about it. Then I saw the grade 8 flag and it just brought it all home for me. It's really exciting. So the cars had significant changes. We wanted to keep the car's originality to, to respect the, the 1967 Camaro, but make the car extremely elegant. Hi, I'm Chris Allen, and I brought my 1967 Camaro full resto mod to the Detroit Autorama. We were here uh, working on the car and talking to people about the car when they came around and uh, gave us the, the award for getting into the grade eight and we felt blessed to be able to achieve that with all the high-end competition around here. It took us about six and a half years to build this car. The car was built by Ed Dinkenberger with Superior Auto Works and Frederica Delaware. He uh, did a full build on the car from top to bottom design and everything. So all the exhaust was custom made, the uh, independent suspension and rear was narrowed and re-engineered and modified. Everything underneath has been molded and smoothed. We run a supercharged small block Chevy with a more modern supercharger, which the engine had to be re-engineered and modified to accept that supercharger. The last four weeks of the build have been crazy. The, uh, the last key components that weren't finished 
are, are built yet. We were waiting on, so the stress to get those um, completed and on the car and, and make sure everything was going to work was very stressful. And also the long hours from morning till, till the next morning, finishing, polishing, uh, making sure everything was adjusted properly. Uh, came right down to the wire. We finished right before we pulled out of the driveway Tuesday to head here for the competition. Chris Ryan from 96 South Carolina and I brought this 1956 Continental Mark II to the 2018 Detroit Autorama. Some of the major modifications we did to the body, we took two inches out of the top, three quarters of an inch out of the hat, and probably the most recognizable is we took the hump off the trunk. The engine in this 56 Continental is a 2016 Ford Motorsports Coyote. It has a 6R80 transmission behind it, a nine inch Ford in the rear. Uh, for the front suspension, we went with the Fat Man Fabrications front stub, has a Rytec stainless four bar in the rear, all with shock waves on each four corners controlled by a Rytec Pro X system. I'm somewhat of a paint geek myself. PPG is a big sponsor of ours. We chose this color, uh, we worked with some of the PPG tech reps and sponsors and they helped us come up with this. This is actually a crystal glass flake covered in seven coats of candy and then seven coats of clear on top of it. That's what gives it that old school pop that you used to see 30, 40 years ago. The car has been received very well, better than we actually expected to. And a lot of the old custom guys come up and appreciate the work that we did because we were trying to pay tribute to some of the greats like the Winfields, the Alexander Brothers, the Jack Walkers. And I think they can relate more to this build. We got here early this morning. I saw the judges walking around and we really weren't planning on a great eight. But when they started walking closer to me, uh, I actually got tears in my eyes. This was totally unexpected. I guess winning the grade eight and getting the old school custom look out there again, hopefully will inspire other builders or customers to pursue something like this. Because right now we're, we're almost the anomaly building a custom of this caliber. A lot of people are into more of the hot rod, street rod. Two days before we left, we had no grill that fit the car. We had no drip rail moldings. We had no headlight rings. I had my buddies that helped me out and drove literally thousands of miles to help pull this together for me. My father actually got me into cars. He was into mostly original Model A's and that kind of stuff. And I just wanted to cut stuff up and make hot rods and customs out of it. Uh, so he's probably a little upset now that we're not keeping anything original, but I, I think he might get over it after this weekend. So I'm Johnny Martin from Johnny's Auto Trim in Alamos, Colorado. We brought a 1957 Chevy to the Detroit Autorama 2018. The modifications we've done to this 57 Chevy has been chopped, channeled, sectioned. Uh, the whole bottom is one off, uh, chassis one off, rear ends one off. Just We bought coil over shocks and a dipstick tube. I think everything else is custom. We've been working on it for four years. Um, some of the chrome pieces that are on the car uh, just have a tremendous amount of time in them. They're built out of steel. The bumpers are 56 bumpers turned upside down, cut into a million pieces. So the motor is a twin turbo 515 big block Chevrolet, 1,034 horsepower on pump gas. The bowler did the transmission for us, uh, turbo 400. Uh, the rear end was designed by Bob Thrash and then put into CAD and machined and so it's a pretty spectacular ball and socket style situation on the rear end just totally one off piece on that rear end so to play this 2018 Riddler game these judges really know their stuff I mean these guys are they're professional they're professional judges 
So if you think you're going to get away with a little something here and there, you're not going to. I mean, everything better be pretty perfect. There's flaws in everything. There's no car that's perfect, including ours. We work for months and months, like at the end of the project, just 20 hour days and, and this is, it's unreal crazy. Uh, the payoff is when you get here and the crowd, you know, basically approves your work. I mean, they basically are blown away by your work and, and that's a good thing. PPG sponsored us on the paint and it's a uh, custom made silver for us. The upholstery, the leather color is terracotta. Winning the grade eight is, is a fantastic honor. There's not very many people there's in the world that can say that they've been in the grade eight. We came to win and like everybody else does, um, but to get past that grade eight and hit that next level would just be unreal. I mean, it's that, that's something that's unreal. Um, I think we have a good chance, but you never know. The crowd reaction to this car has just been unbelievable. I'm Harold. And I'm Rhea Schrader from Franklin Lakes, New Jersey, and we're here at the 2018 Detroit Autorama with our 1939 Ford sedan delivery. Some of the body modifications we did to the car is we suicide the doors, we did the running boards over, we made the fenders back, we redid back fenders on, we added the panels in the back door, and I know we did a lot, but I don't remember half of it. Oh, we did a hell of a lot more than that. <laughs> we, uh, that more than I did. we shaved the door handles, we shaved the hinges, we took off the uh, drip rail on the car. New windshield, new frame on the windshield, cleaned up the grill, engine cover. We basically left the outside of the car the same because we liked the shape of it. The interior of the car we put in wood, new wood floor we put in dash new wood dash new gauges in there everything was updated on the car because remember it's 79 years old the engine is a 5.7 hemi with a five-speed automatic with a heights rear end in it and a heights front end in it it's all polished we were here in 2009 with our 35 four three window coupe we took a grade eight with that this is the second time that we were here and let me tell you something it doesn't get old I was just as excited and enthusiastic as I was in 2009. I was actually literally jumping up and down with tears in my eyes. I mean, this show is the best car show. I call it the Oscars of a car show. And for you to get a grade eight is a huge honor. To win the Riddler is like winning an Oscar for your car. My name's Tom Farrell from Mooresville, North Carolina. I'm the builder of the 40 Ford Coupe that we brought to 2018 Autorama. We built the car for a Reed Hotelling. He's uh, out of Jacksonville, Florida. It was his first car that he bought. He's, ha he's hot rodded it as a kid and he's kept it ever since, been in storage. We started out building a really nice car and as time went on, he decided he wanted to try to get a grade eight or to go to Autorama to win the Riddler and it, it just kept growing from there. My shop opened in 2011 and this car is actually the first car that we had in our shop. Now we've built other cars in the last seven years. It's our first time at Autorama and it's our first grade eight. The modifications to the car are very subtle. Actually the front fenders are stock minus the holes for the bumper. The running boards are straight. The rear fenders are two inches wider. 
The drip rail is taken off. The doors are radiused. Uh, the hood is cut five inches in the front, pie cut and lowered. It's a custom grill. Uh, we could go on for hours on custom stuff. The drivetrain in the car starts with a ZL1 ramjet, which we then took the ramjet off and put Imagine 8 stack injection on. It is an all aluminum big block Chevy. The, the transmission is a TCI 6X automatic transmission. It has a four nine inch rear end, which is all part of the Art Morrison chassis. The color on the car is actually a production car color. It's a dark blue, a very dark blue. Um, and uh, the paint is Exalta. The passion for the car was I originally did not like the 36 Pontiac, but uh, the reason we chose the 36 Pontiac is because after we got to looking at it and doing some rendering of it, it all came to light. My name is Robert Anderson, I'm from Savannah, Georgia, and I brought a 36 Pontiac sedan to the 2018 Autorama. The length of time that it took to build this car was about a year and six or eight months, and that's uh, with three or four guys working uh, sometimes 16, 18 hours a day. This is a GM LT4 supercharged 675 horsepower engine. Transmission is a four-speed automatic GM. This is a winner's quick change rear end. We chose the pearl white uh, for basically the same reason we chose the 36 Pontiac because there's no 36 Pontiacs, there is no white hot rods in the market today and never been in the hot rod market. Everyone's kind of been afraid to step over the line to go with the, with the pearl or the off-white. So we chose that going out on a limb. Back in the day on the 36 Pontiac, the trim that went from the front of the grill through the hood, which we call the rainfall, and we chose to extend that trim through the cowl, and if you'll notice up through the roof and down through uh, the trunk of the vehicle and also we incorporated a skylight in the front of the car and the back seat of the car so it's got two skylights. Well the anticipation leading up to being recognized as a grade 8 was kind of exciting. We came here with the Riddler in mind so when we got to the step of the grade 8 we knew we were one step closer to possibly getting the Riddler which is everyone's desire. So it was fascinating for us. Well, my history with cars goes back to probably 15, 16 years old uh, when I worked as a mechanics helper in a, in a local garage. So from there, I've been involved in cars one way or the other. I will always be involved in cars as long as I can get off the front porch. I've always had a passion for 69 Camaros growing up in high school. Just kind of one of those things that I gravitate towards. Uh, Stuart Adams at the Detroit Autorama 2018 with my car Tux. It started out to be a very nice Camaro build and just kind of grew into this over time because it's taken 13 years to get to this point. Two years ago, I didn't even know what the grade eight was or the Riddler Award, what that really meant. It wasn't really the, the desire when I started. Getting here and seeing the cars has been amazing as far as the quality and the, and the craftsmanship that it takes to, to get to this point. But the outside of the body is basically the way a 69 Camaro looks, besides like the front bumper, the back bumper. The hood's been changed some, and there's been some modifications, but overall I wanted to keep it looking like a 69 Camaro. I didn't want it to look like, you know, with shaved door panels and all this other stuff that that took away from what I really gravitated towards. Uh, but there's been a dramatic amount of modifications underneath the car. The drivetrain on this car is an LS2 with a supercharger, 700 horsepower. Uh, the transmission is a Tremec modified by Bowler, six speed with a four nine inch rear end. This morning I found out about what, 10, 1030 or so that the car made the grade eight, which was very cool for me and, and most importantly for the uh, Detroit Speed Company. 
Uh, that's the most important thing for me is to represent them well. I wanted the car to do well for their business. It really wasn't about me during this whole process. After our interview yesterday, you asked me a couple of questions about what it was like to be in the grade eight. I told you it was one of the best things, but we came here to win. Uh, but the whole time leading up to the awards is a really stressful, stressful situation. Uh, you know you have a nice car, you know you did what you could do, uh, but you, could, you can't do any more once you get here. So uh, the intense moment of right before they announce it is just an ungodly feeling but when they announced our name it was unbelievable I mean totally unbelievable so um, I, I couldn't be more happy it just it, Greg and I have went through so much with this car and and ups and downs and sideways and and to finally win this thing is a true dream of mine so Greg's the big owner of the car he wasn't here this morning for the interview but uh, he is now and his name's Greg Heracek, and without him, we wouldn't be able to uh, be here and play this game. And uh, he's a super car guy and super excited, and I'll pass it on and let him give you some words. Well, if that question is asked, what it felt like, I was stunned. I was stunned. I'm mean, there are eight great cars. I was prepared to congratulate whoever won and they called the name and it took a second to actually hear it. it I didn't hear it the first time and my wife <laughs> nudged me and and then well and still it was stunning it was stunning would be the word. This was about coming and competing for this award there's just no other award that you're really gonna go after in this this class of car building and that was that was the idea, that was the intent from the beginning, and, well, here we are. We, we stayed on it, and here we are. <laughs> I'm Greg Horocek. And I'm Johnny Martin. And we, we just, just won, won the, the 2018, 2018 Riddler Award! Woo! I'm Barry McGuire here at the 2018 Detroit Autorama celebrating the Riddler Award. This presentation of the 2018 Detroit Autorama was brought to you by Eaton Detroit Spring, made in the USA in Detroit.